<laughs> What's up YouTube? Hey, hey guys. Uh, so I haven't, I realize I haven't posted a new video in a long time. Um, reason why is uh, I've been evaluating the channel and trying to figure out um, the best stuff to put out there that that you would enjoy. Because um, end of the day, it's like the, the channel is mostly for you and what you want to see. Um, so I've taken you know stock of the videos that have gotten the most um, interaction, and so I'm going to do more of those. But I also started to think of um, what I could pull from my own personal journey in this world that might be beneficial to for someone out there to hear. Um, so I've got a couple of those things coming out um, in the near future, uh, mostly revolving around writing and fitness. That is my background. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm an author, uh, former, former fitness competitor and personal trainer. So we're going to talk a lot about writing and wellness on this channel. Um, tips and tricks, delve into some of the genres and some of the some other cool stuff that uh, I hope you stick around and check out. But for this first video, I was thinking uh, through the deep pockets of my own life and what I could relate to you at this moment, especially this particular moment in time, that would be helpful. Um, so that for me is always been perseverance and it comes from like getting knocked down and getting back up knocked down back up knocked down back up uh always getting back up from adversity now i know you're probably saying to yourself well why am i gonna listen to you i don't know you but um i got to thinking that there's like a lot of uh I guess self-help gurus or personal growth coaches, lifestyle entrepreneurs, the list goes on and on and on. And they got videos and books and podcasts and <laughs> they're all full of shit, okay? Um, they're telling you these stories about, I went from here and now I'm a six-figure millionaire and here's the 17 steps you need to do this exact same thing. It's bullshit. It's lies. It's uh, money marketing schemes. Um, they don't care about you. They care about their bottom line, their bottom dollar. The motivation when people are losing, all these people who come out here and talk about how great they are, and I see it all the time, it makes me sick, man. Get real with yourself. People cannot relate to you, man. You are unfucking relatable. When you come out here and say, hey, man, I'm the baddest motherfucker to ever live. Okay, great. Well, I. what am I going to learn from you? You learn from people who are willing to tell you, this is where I started from. This is how much I fell on my fucking ass. This is how bad I used to really be. I still have those moments, because why? You're human. We're all jacked up, man. We're all jacked up. And that's what makes my story relatable. I'm willing to let you in to see I'm decently successful now. But I didn't come out like this, man. I didn't come out, that's the story is you have to give people just a little bit of hope. There's no hope when they just see greatness in you everywhere. You have to be able to get yourself down to a level of check it out, man. There's hope for you. That's all I'm trying to give you. Just a little bit. Dollar. So I figured if there's millions of people out there listening to these schmucks, that I could actually offer something tangible um, that you could use that you can that could relate to somebody going through the same struggle out there and it won't cost you a thing <laughs> um i do have some uh, some products out there that if you want to check out that's great i have i put out uh my own little um self-help book in a fun way it's called be your own superhero but um i'm not here to tell you buy this and then i'll give you the secrets no it's not like that um <laughs> Case in point, I was watching one of these people on, on online, they were doing like a, a seminar or something, um, and the, the person was up on the stage talking and they, they told the, the hungry crowd who was thirsty for information, they were like, okay, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to write down like 
three things that you want for for the next year that you want to come true. And so this person that's conducting the seminar did the same thing. So they're up there. Um, I'm not going to name names, but they're up there and they're you know writing on the big board the things that they want to accomplish for the next year. And the first per first first thing they put down is, I want to only fly private from now on. Or it was like it was either that or it was like I only want to fly at first class. Okay, fine. Second thing they put down, I want to sell. 30,000 units of whatever product they were pushing um, next year. And then I don't remember what the rest of it was because I, I turned it off. Because essentially what they were saying was, I want to be rich. Rich, 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 rich. Nowhere on that board did this person write down, I want to help this many people. It was all, you know, uh, material shit and wealth. And that's, you know, I'm not going to begrudge you that. But if you're putting yourself in a position where you're talking about, I want to help this many people to realize their dreams, and all you're talking about is I want to make this much money and fly their jets, go fuck yourself, man. Like, I see right through that shit. And that's not what, I, I, that, and that's kind of what sparked this. This is like, so if they're going to be up there telling lies and stories and trying to, you know, make a buck off of people tuning in because they're interviewing somebody who was on TV, you know, I got. I also have a story to tell. You might not know my face or my name. I would never actually want to be famous. So, um, but you should hear my story because it's probably more legit than anything else going on around out there um, that these people are making a buck off of. So, perseverance. Back when I was, you know, first first getting into the game of being an author, uh, I used to go by the three Ps. Uh, Kind of like, if anybody's a WWE fan, like, Kurt Angle had the three eyes. I digress. So, I had the three Ps. I had patience, persistence, and personal courage. My patience these days, you can scratch that shit off. I don't have any more patience for anyone or anything. Um, not, you know, not the usual, you know, drama and stuff like that. I don't know. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't, I don't have that kind of patience for that at all. What I do have patience for is putting in the time to realize the passion project that you're trying to complete. But personal courage is the next one. That one stuck with me for a very long time. Um, it's the type of shit that I learned through being a fitness competitor. Um, building up your body also builds up your mental acuity and the way that you look at yourself. You know, you gain a confidence from that. So um, personal courage is something that gives me, or that, that, that I use to put out a video like this, knowing the, the, <laughs> the fucking comments that are gonna come at the bottom and the vitriol that's gonna be spewed from people who I don't even know. So um, that's personal courage. Personal courage just means <clears throat> you have enough faith in yourself to go out and do the things that you want to do in this life and life's really really short so I encourage you to do that without falling back on fear and I, we all do it we all let fear take over sometimes so um, that's where persistence comes in and the perseverance that I talked about earlier so they kind of go hand in hand so see I'm not gonna delve too deep into my my, my past history but just know that I've taken like a lot of different lumps over the course of my uh, my formative years, if you will. Um, tragedy struck over and over and over again, um, but for some reason I found I found a passion for writing and I found a passion for fitness. And even though like I haven't achieved the level of success that I really want to with my writing, I still I'm getting up every day and I'm doing it. And doing it and doing it and doing it and I'm trying to remember the fact that I started it because it was supposed to be something fun that I wanted to do um, to quote million dollar baby if I was thinking straight I'd go back home find a used trailer buy a deep fryer and some Oreos the problem is this is the only thing I ever felt good doing if I'm too old for this then I got nothing that enough truth to suit you so 
Um, persistence means you continue to chip away at whatever it is that you're pursuing. I don't know what your passion is, your vocation, whether maybe you're a writer, maybe you're trying to get into a fitness competition yourself. I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. You know, if you want to leave me a, a message in the comment, let me know why. Um, what gets you up in the morning? You all, you know, you have to have something that drives you, that keeps you going, because this is a tough world. Ain't no lie about that. It's not the sugar-coated candy canes in the sky. It's, it's hard, especially, like, a lot of people go it alone for these things. And, you know, don't kid yourself. Like, especially for writing, you're alone in that story doing what you're doing. And it takes an iron will to keep on doing it, especially when you've got your head down writing this book, you finally publish it, you look up, and like, you're getting, nobody's reading it. So you start thinking to yourself, well, why am I doing this? You know, what the fuck is this? What's the point of doing this? Or I'm, I'm putting in the work in the gym, but I'm not seeing the results. Why am I doing this? Well, that's for you to figure out, figure out your why. It's deep inside you. Nobody can tell you that. Nobody can tell you why to keep going. I can only tell you that you should. Like, especially in this social media driven world where people are coming at you with flames and arrows for people you don't even know. You gotta put up your shield and block that shit. Like, too many people, too many people are listening to other people's opinions of them and then they're taking it to heart and killing themselves. What the fuck? Guys, come on. Like, just because Sally Pants 20, like, said she doesn't like your hair or whatever, or, <laughs> like, had the nerve to say, go kill yourself. Don't let them win. Like, I had a lot of that, like, face-to-face -face growing up. You know, it wasn't some bullshit behind a screen telling you these, these things. I had that growing up. I had it, like, to my face. Like, people wanting to jump me and shit. But, you know, we, we go back to the personal courage where you find... You find who, who you are and you stay true to yourself. It doesn't matter what people think about you. Like, I have that tattooed on my arm. Like, only God can judge me. Whether you believe in God or not, you gotta believe in something and you might as well believe in yourself. So, that's what I want you to take away from this. Uh, just have a belief in yourself and what you're doing. Have the courage to follow through with it and to persevere with it. You know what I mean? So, like... If, even if you keep getting knocked down, keep getting back up. Like, I am a master of that shit. I've been kicked in the teeth so many times right when I'm at the top of the hill. But I get knocked back down, and I get back up. Like, burst back up like fucking Jon Snow through the, the, the heap of people at the Battle of the Bastards. You know, get your ass back up. Keep hustling. Keep going towards the direction of your dream because like you're probably right there you're probably like at the cusp of it and then if you give up your cheering section who was waiting for you behind the door is probably like oh well no come on man you were right there so you stick with it whatever you're doing persevere have personal courage um and patience for yourself uh, don't be too hard on yourself out there guys so that's what i have for you for right now Push forward, persevere, personal courage.